I, I apologize if I got this wrong, but Chris Hare directed Smoke Signals, right? This movie that came out yes. 25 years ago, 1997, I think is when Smoke Signals came out. It's considered, you know, one of the most important um, films ever made, really, by a Native director, Native writer, um, Native cast. And so, sorry, you know, he's everyone Cheyenne refers- Arapaho. He's Cheyenne Arapaho. I'm so sorry. I apologize for that. Um, and so Chris Hare has directed, directed all of the episodes um, of Dark Winds. And so there was an article, was it in Indians.com um, or maybe it was in Native News um, that the the Native folks who were involved in the production and the direction of the writing of the show kind of responded to some of the criticism they were receiving online from Native people, but mostly from Navajo people. And they're like, yes, we'll do better with the language. We'll try to get language coaches, you know, people to come out. And they were mostly, you know, focusing their comments on... Um, the authenticity piece. They're like, yes, we'll do better in season two on like authentically representing Navajo people. And I have to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not of the camp of people who's upset with the show for like not representing Navajo people correctly. I have an ethical, a real ethical issue with why the show was made at all. I don't think it's about whether or not Navajo people are represented correctly. I think it's about like, why didn't any of the people in the process of green lighting the show from the moment that it became an idea in somebody's mind to all the way to producing an entire first season of this for AMC. Why didn't anyone, including whoever these cultural um, consultants are, these Navajo people who consulted on the show, why didn't any of you stop to question whether or not it was appropriate <laughs> to even represent literally like 80% of what happens in the show? Like, you should not be representing a uh, kinalta, which is like um, uh, the girl's puberty ceremony, and then splicing that in with like skinwalker stuff. Like, no, you, no one should be watching any of those, either of those things. And they certainly shouldn't be watching them back to back, going back and forth constantly between them. 